In today's video, I'm going to be going over the brand new flashback David Silva. Let's get into this. Let's start off with some basics. He can play centre mid and cam. He's explosive. Fits the brand new meta. Four star, four star. Left footed, five for eight with high medium work rates. Also, he's got quite a wide selection of traits. He has technical dribbler, outside the foot, playmaker, flair, and finesse shot. So far, this card is looking fantastic, but let's get into the in games. Start things off, he's got 84 pace, 81 acceleration with 86 sprint speed. Next up, we have a shooting, 84 overall, 91 positioning, 82 finishing, 84 shot power, 86 long shots, 88 volleys, and 86 penalties. Looks very good and very strong. Next up, we have his juicy, juicy passing, 91 vision, 85 crossing, 79 free kick accuracy, 91 short pass, 86 long pass, and 84 curve. Honestly, one of the best passes on the game. Next up we have his dribbling, 82 agility, 91 balance, 84 reactions, 88 ball control, 86 dribbling and 92 composure. It's going to feel really really good after this recent update. Next up is his defending. Now he has surprisingly good defending which makes him be, be able to be used as like a centre mid CDM kind of player. He has 73 defensive awareness, 70 stand tackle, 68 heading and 67 interceptions. Last but not least let's pair that defending with 70 jumping, 83 stamina. 64 strength and 70 aggression which honestly for someone that's not meant to be a super strong player is very decent a lot of the times you see these small guys and they don't have much strength at all 64 is going to be okay i think so with the actual in games out of the way let me just tell you a bit of my experience with this card so he felt really really agile with the ball he felt very good on the ball as well uh, his shooting felt decent i didn't get too many opportunities but from the ones that I did get, he felt pretty decent in front of goal. I'm not sure how he'll fit outside the box, but I know in the box he can definitely finish most of his chances. Also, something that I noticed about him is he definitely does feel very good when trying to flush a through ball. He sometimes just finds some space that he that nobody else I've really used this year finds, where he manages to find a little pocket, get open for a pass, and then he can play it through for a through ball, which 9 times out of 10 can lead to a goal. And I think the last thing I will say is obviously he's not going to be that super strong player. I wouldn't recommend using him as a DM. I was using him as a cam and he felt pretty, pretty solid. So maybe experiment if you are in need of a DM or a box to box centre mid. I think he could be great, but he's not the strongest. He is going to get bullied off the ball sometimes. But as long as you find space with him, he can play amazing passes. He's got really good shooting as well, like I've said. So overall, I was very impressed with this card. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. He he is one of my favorite forwards or midfielders so far so there's not really much i can say like bad about him to be fair because i'm not expecting him to track back defensively but he does still supply some defensiveness going forward so yeah nine out of ten for me i think personally he's one of my favorite cards if this video helped you in any way whatsoever please be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn on notifications on and i'll catch you boys in the next one peace